What's up, everybody? It's Charles Phones Over 217 here, and uh, here's a continuation of part two. Here's part three. Here is Scavenger. We're gonna take er, not Scrapper. <laughs> We're gonna take him into his arm load. Gonna move that in to where his arms are all straight. Basically, we're gonna take him back to uh, the Oka mode. Get the peg knees in. And kind of get him at an angle. Over top there. And there is the arm mode for Scrapper. Now we're going to take High Tower here, turn him into his arm mode. Basically, I'm going to turn him, we're going to put him back into his vehicle mode. Almost dropped my camera there. Now we're going to take this part, unhook it, and put it down to the second one there. Or, er, you know what, first one, actually. We're going to take the claw back here and rip it right back up in there. And, but we're going to leave the uh, head out and arm so it forms a uh, hand. And last but not, la lastly, but not least, last but not least, there we go. We're gonna have Mixmaster form the head. I'm gonna turn him back into vehicle mode. Extreme close up. Oh, sorry, getting off camera a little bit. And just peg that back together. And actually keep this split open. And there's the head. Now, let's form Devastator. First, we'll take a long haul here. I don't know why I keep calling it a long haul. This is overload. Take long haul here. Snap it into overload. And we'll take rampage. Snap it in. And then take scavenger and the treads here. All you have to do is just slide it in to this part and move it up enough. This little part will come into play. Do you peg that in? Snap it in. It's really more for just the uh, transformation feature. So here we have him getting taller now. Next we'll take Scrapper, peg him in to Scavenger's arm, locks in nice, high tower, peg that in, locks in nice again, and then last but not least again. Mixmaster 
We'll form the head by pegging into these pegs here. Locks in very nicely. And here we have Legends Devastator. Um, my opinion. Uh, it's cool how they were able to get all seven construction cons to form into them and still have a uh, robot mode and a vehicle mode. Um, screen accurateness. The uh, head's probably the most screen accurate part of it. <clears throat> you can try and get it to uh, stand up a little bit more. This head's really low. Um, like I said with the paint scheme, it's not really uh, that um, really noticeable because it's all different colors mixed mashed together. Although the uh, head of Devastator is has a silver accent to it, where it kind of works for it, but still doesn't because the rest of them doesn't really have that, so meh. Although the face mold is really nice to face sculpt, I mean, has a separate piece of plastic in there for the uh, eyes and the teeth and everything, so. Um, that's it about for this review of uh, Legends Devastator. Um, thank you for uh, dealing with me. Uh, if you like uh, other Transformer reviews, such as or excuse me, uh, <laughs> if you like other Transformer reviews and uh, other toy reviews, such as uh, Iron Man figures and uh, Gundam figures, uh, check out my channel. Hit that yellow subscribe button down there. Almost lost my camera again. <laughs> Um, again, thank you for bearing with me, and, uh, stay tuned for other reviews. Thank you very much, and, uh, did I mention the little subscribe button down there? You should probably hit it. Thanks.